तो वेदास आर टोल्ड ओनली फॉर ऑर्थोडॉक्स पीपल ऑर्थोडॉक्स सिस्टम ऑर्थोडॉक्स ट्रेडिशन बिलीव दैट वेदास आर ओनली फॉर ब्राह्मण्स एंड वैश्यास एंड क्षत्रियाज नॉट फॉर शुद्राज एंड वुमन ऑर्थोडॉक्स सिस्टम्स बिलीव दैट If you see Gargi, Maitre, etc., they were women and they were Vedic seers. So certainly the thing is unfounded. But still, regarding Upanishads, etc., whether women and Shudras can read them or not, dubious point. Puranas, women and Shudras can read them or not, once again a dubious point. But I believe that Upanishads and I believe because Gargi and Maitre are also sages that everyone is should be given permission to read everything. That is one thing, but Kali Yuga also Tantra works very greatly, right? Kali Yuga Tantra works very greatly in Kali Yuga Tantra is Kalpataru, etc., etc., etc. It is told that like Shiva and Shakti are the same, Agam and Nigam is also the same, Veda and Tantra is also the same. Veda is quick result giving, sorry, Tantra is quick result giving. Tantra can be practiced by all, and all sort of things, right? You know about the greatness of Tantra, right? Anyone in this field know about the greatness of Tantra. Now one thing that is happening, you see, worship do not bear fruit without sankal. Certainly, if you are doing kamya karma, if you are doing some worship for some result, to make sure that it bears the fruit, there have to be appropriate sankal. Right? If you are doing it just for you know increasing your spiritual power, increasing your spiritual merit, or for some purpose or the other purpose, it is not needed to have a sankal as such. Right? For atmanubhuti and all sort of things. Right? But if you are doing some kamya karma, what is called priyogam, kamya karma, priyogam, if you are doing it for some purpose, there have to be a sankalp. The problem is that even when you are doing the tantric method of worship, you are taking the normal sankalp, om vishnu, 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 this is svetvara, kalpe, vaiva, sutman, vantri, etc. You are taking normal sankalp, which is not correct. The achaman that we do, that is normal achaman, and vishnu, 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 that achaman. Tantra have a separate Achaman, right? The Achaman in uh, the Vaidic Achaman have three mantras into it. The Tantric Achaman have four mantras into it. In the same way, the Sankal, if you are doing a Tantric practice, there have to be a Tantric Sankal. You cannot take a Vaidic Sankal. And for that Tantric Sankal, it is clearly told that Tantric Sankal should be taken as per Tantric Panchang and Tantric Panchang have different calculations altogether. Right, so these are not the normal thesis, etc. Tantric Panchang have 16 months in a year, will have 36 days in a year. Right, so Tantric Panchang is very much different as compared to what a normal Panchang is. So in this Tantric Panchang course, abhi dekho, poster mein we don't say these things. Na? Secret baat poster mein nahi Secret baat to fir aapas mein gopaniya vishay vidyarthi ke saath hi hote hai na? Matlab isme to aise nahi bata sakte ki kya batayenge. But Tantric Panchang is something that I will covering at the end of it. So certainly a method of, you know, calculating the, the, we will discuss about Tantric Panchang, how to make a Tantric Panchang, 36 days and all sort of things. So using that Tantric Panchang, you will, first of all, you will know the Tantric Panchang, right? So like planets impact the plan, planet impact the human beings, right? The deities, etc. of the Tantric Panchang also impact the Sadhak and for that matter, beings. The purpose, Yogini Dasha, 36 year long Dasha. This is very much similar to the concept of Balarisht. It is believed that up to the age of 36, Balarisht is very strong and if someone have to die because of Balarisht or Alpayus, that is generally happening because of past life bad karmas, it happens under the age of 36. That's why you will see very peculiar dashas which only apply up to the age of 36, out of which is Sartrevisha Sama Dasha is there, Yogini is there. These dashas are particularly to time the misfortune Right, a manifestation of which is Balarishta, Drubhagi, Sadhya Mirtyu, Arishta, Alpayush, etc. Right. Now, if you go to Yogini Dasha, you see that Yoginis rule the Dasha. Right. Nowadays, there is an opinion of replacing the Yoginis with planets and all sort of things, which is also done by some classics as well, but I don't support it. The purpose is that up to the age of 36, if any calamity or problem, etc. is happening, this is completely happening because of previous life. 
generally because of major immediate karmas of the previous life. So it does not mean to say that after the age of 36, previous life is not there. It is not the case. After the age of 36, also there is a result of previous life. But then there is a result of previous life, samskaras more prominently and not of karmas as such. The result before 36 is primarily related to karmas and less related to sanskaras because still the person is forming the sanskaras, right? A greedy person before the age of 36 up to the age of 30, etc. can become non-greedy. But someone who have been greedy all up to the age of 36 cannot become non-greedy later on. The kanchukas, the seeds get fixed. The basic point. So because Yogini Dasha goes with the concept that if anyone have done a sin, committed a sin, etc. Then the yoginis will produce difficulties, punishments, etc. for the person. Right? Or felicitate the person, give resources, etc. to the person depending on whether the karma is good or bad. This is the basic difference between the philosophy of Vedas and philosophy of Tantras. Right? According to the philosophy of Veda, Prakriti does nothing. God does nothing. Right? It is your nature and behavior according to which you get the result. Tantra goes on a different way. God does nothing. Prakriti by herself does nothing. But as per your karmas, the God will force Prakriti to show you a particular type of result. Right? Prakriti will be forced as per your karmas by the inspiration of God with the power of God to show you results accordingly. And this is what the yoginis do. As per your karmas, they take... Yoginis are the forces of nature, basically. So as per your karmas, taking inspiration and power from God, they will give you good or bad results accordingly. Right. So because yoginis do this, same thing the panchang factors, the tantric panchang factors also do. Right. So when you are supposed to suffer a particular type of bad karma, that will be apparently represented by a deity. That deity will come into tantric panchang and whenever there will be day, year, etc. of that particular deity, you are going to suffer or you are going to enjoy. That's the basic concept in the tantric panchang. So tantric panchang will come at the end of it, the calculation of tantric panchang, the dittis are there and how they impact, it will come at the end of the course, last section. So primarily we will start with tantric philosophy. This sattva, rajas, tamas, etc. these things you like, you people like, I believe that. So, right, so this will come in the beginning. And my exploration in the course will be Shri Vidya, Shri Yantra and Tantra, right. So we are focusing on Shri Vidya now, this time, Shri Vidya. Right, because this is third part of Tantra, right, third part of Tantra Jyotish. So, you know, three Kadi Hadi Sadi Vidyas we have to take, otherwise, Kaisa Yoga Justice in Yopaya. Right, so uh, we are starting with introduction, right, how the Raja Raja Sarita Prasunari Bala becomes a Sri Yantra, how the Sri Yantra becomes the human body, how the mantra and Kulluka and everything is the same. We are starting with the introduction, with the philosophy, the Tantric philosophy, and after that, we will talk about the goddesses in detail. So Jagannath Hora, you see this. Jagannath Hora, you see Tithi Amavasya ruled by Rahu. Chitra is written. This Chitra is a goddess. This Chitra is a goddess. This goddess have some impact. These are called Nitya goddesses. Right. These are the Nitya goddesses of Shrikul. There is a Nitya goddess of Kalikul also. People don't know it is also not coded in Jagannath Hora. So Jagannath Hora is repeating the same table. Right. So you see. Shukla Pratipada. It is Kameshwari. And Shukla Pratipada was Kameshwari, right. Krishna Pratipada will also be Kameshwari. Just a second. Krishna Pratipada is again Kameshuri, right? So it is taking the same list. But if you look at the setup, the Shukla and Krishna Paksh is changed accordingly, right? Shukla Paksh is told to be ruled by, you know, God, Krishna Paksh by God as right? Shukla by bright forces, Krishna by dark forces, Shukla by gods, right? Krishna by Pitrus, etc. Gods and demons and all sort of things. So the change that we are doing at the first place, Shukla Paksh, we are taking the Nitya goddesses of Sri Vidya. I believe Krishna Paksh, you should take Nitya goddesses of Kali Vidya. There are so 16 Nityas of Kali is also there. 16 Nitya of Bala Sundari Sri Vidya is also there. 
ये तो बात तिथि की हो गई लिस्ट आपके पास है लिस्ट में थोड़ी सी ट्विकिंग है टेक्निकली जगन्नाथ हो रहा इज गिविंग यू हाफ ऑफ द लिस्ट कामेश्वरी नित्य कलन्ना भगवान यू मे गेट द नेम बट हाउ टू इंटरप्रेट द रिजल्ट इज वॉट वी आर कवरिंग इन द कोर्स पहली बात हो गई ना आफ्टर दैट फॉर द नक्षत्रा योगा करण वार देर इज नो डिटी विच इज मैं इन जगन्नाथ हो रहा और अदरवाइज डिटी इज फॉर देम वी हैव रिसर्च सो दैट डिटीज विल बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड रिजल्ट फॉर द डिटीज विल ऑल्सो बी इंट्रोड्यूस्ड आफ्टर दैट बिकॉज वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ श्री यंत्रा एंड श्री विद्या स्वतंत्र ज्योतिष पार्ट टू वी हैव टेकन अंत्र वी हैव पुट प्लैनेट ऑन द यंत्र एंड वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द यंत्र इन डिटेल हाउ टू डू डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एनालिसिस आउट ऑफ दैट सो दिस टाइम श्री यंत्र सो वी आर टेकिंग श्री यंत्र वी आर पुटिंग थिंग्स इन श्री यंत्र एंड इन द मिडल सेक्शन वी आर एनालाइजिंग श्री यंत्र एंड द पर्पज विल बी टू मेक सम गुड प्रोडिक्शन to time some events in a better way while doing so because initially we will discuss about philosophy from the philosophy will come some principles right such is the nature of you say that there is a particular form of right you know like the upper part of the uh, goddess upper part of the body of the goddess have ichcha shakti right middle part of the upper part have gyana shakti middle part have ichcha shakti लोअर पार्ट है क्रिया शक्ति राइट सो हाउ दिस कम्स इन हॉरोस्कोप हाउ दिस ज्ञानिक शैन क्रिया शक्ति सीन इन द हॉरोस्कोप एंड हाउ पर्सन एज पर दशा अंतर दशा एज पर द हॉरोस्कोपिक सेटअप इज मिक्सिंग विद दिस डिफरेंट टेंडेंसीज एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस टेंडेंसीज हाउ द रिजल्ट इज सक्राइज कमिंग इज वॉट वी आर कवरिंग इन द मिडल सेक्शन लास्ट सेक्शन देर विल बी तांत्रिक पंचांग एंड वाइल डूइंग ऑल ऑफ इट अभी आई विल टेल यू ठीक है ओके नित्य क्लिन्ना रूल्स दिस पर्टिकुलर तिथि कामेश्वरी रूल्स दिस पर्टिकुलर तिथि एंड ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ थिंग्स यू नो दैट predictive result i will tell you but eventually there have to be a remedy right because problem is there solution have to be there so there have to be remedies at every place so for every panchang factor there will be a remedy and easy to do remedy because you know mantras of the goddesses etc will be given but it's not that simple that you will just chant the mantra like you do the mantra for shiva or ram or krishna for that matter right so there have to be some quick easy simple remedies and the purpose of the tantra is also the same thing right anything that comes that comes from hinduism have a philosophy understanding knowledge and eventually remedy right so bhagavad gita also you see bhagavad gita also have a lot of philosophy what we are learning right now but eventually the purpose is how to be free how to find god how to have happiness in life that is the eventual purpose right so for all the knowledge and everything there have to be a solution that is the purpose of knowledge right so while doing this we will talk about different gods their mantras and other remedies that they may that is associated with them particularly visiting temples chanting their mantras and doing rituals which they like for example regarding bala tripur sundari shri vidya either you can completely do like getting initiation into shri vidya doing shri vidya is a long task that you may do that is all up to you right but 300 names of lalita or 108 names of goddess lalita any one can take so that you can take right some shakti peethas are connected to goddess lalita there you can visit there is something known as subgoda stuti there is a small stuti subgoda stuti you can do right and subgoda stuti the purpose of subgoda stuti itself is to become more fortunate and it is told to please goddess lalita So, so because this stuti is a very small stuti that can be recommended to anyone, done by anyone. It is not directly direct. It does not need as much authority as to practice Shri Vidya, but it is neither the way less. And because it is so because this stuti, the prime purpose is to raise the fortune, unlock the fortune, strengthen the fortune of the person. It is it is directly very much proportional to what you see in horoscope, right? So, someone have a bad ninth house, someone is suffering from bad luck. That can be because of panchak factors and other astrological factors, whatever be the case. right but in that case you will recommend subodha stuti and the results will be very great so this is what we are covering right an introduction to it was this